For the final tune in the Manon Abu set that um, was arranged by myself, Rachel here, the Manx harp tutor um, on the Isle of Man for Culture Bannon, we're going to be learning the tune Hop Tune. And this was really the finale tune as part of this big ensemble piece that was played by many harpers at the Edinburgh International Harp Festival in 2018. So Hop Tune, Hop Tune is the Manx celebration of the Celtic New Year, which happens on the 31st of October, which uh, unfortunately is kind of more commonly nowadays known as Halloween, the kind of Americanized Halloween. But um, on the Isle of Man, there is still a kind of great deal of kind of Celtic traditions that happen on the 31st of October. Instead of carving pumpkins, they carve the traditional turnips and they'll go round the houses in the Isle of Man singing their own local version of the Hop Chine song. So there's many versions of the song. Um, I'm not actually totally sure which version this is. It's always a version that I've known from being on the island. Um, it's a kind of kind of upbeat kind of jig, but it's kind of short and sweet and snappy. So we're going to learn three different versions of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to play it through to you first and then we'll give it a go together. <laughs> Hopchene is in the mixed Illidian mode of A, so that means your harp is in A major, but you're going to flatten the seven, so flatten the G sharps, which means you have F sharps and C sharps on. So for my harp, I'm tuned to E flat major, so that means I have my E's, my A's, my B's, the F's, and the C levers all engaged. So, like all the other tunes in this short series of Man in the Boot, we're going to learn the melody first, then the left hand. Now there are two different left hands for this intermediate version because we're going to play the tune twice through. Let's have a look at the melody first then. Our first part begins with our hand on an A triad. So that means third finger on A, second on C, thumb on E. We're going to play our thumb using our E, replace it. We're going to go down the A triad and straight back up again. So only one A in the bottom. do another E at the end. So we have an extra E at the start, down the triad, and back up again. Lovely. Our next part, we're going to go down six notes in a row from F to E. We're going to tumble down, crossing our thumb over to the C. So it's two groups of three. One, two, three in F, E and D. Cross over with your thumb on C, second, B, third and A. We're going to use our second and our third at the end to play an extra two A's. Let's try that second part together there. One, two. Let's go for it again. Down our six notes. One, two. Good work. So, the structure of our first part then is going to go our A triad section, our six notes down, our A triad section, our six notes down. And that's your first part. Let's give it a go together. One, two. first part. On to our second part now, or our B part I should say. Thumb on F, second on E, our third is going to get ready to go on to that C. We're going to play our E, then we're going to place down F, E, C, one, two, three, and play down those. 
So we have E and down F, E, C. I'm going to play that pattern twice. You ready? After two. One, two. This time we're going to do our pattern, but we're going to change the C to the D. So we're going to play our E, then down F, E, D. Let's try that. One, two. Good, so we've got the E and down to the C, down to the C, down to the D. You ready? One, two. Down to the D. Then we're going to place our thumb on C and second on B. We're going to go C, B, C. That's like our first ending there. Okay, so the first time we're going to go C, B, C as our ending. Let's add that on. So we're going to do once around that and C, B, C. One, two. Down to the D. C, B, C. We're going to do it again, but instead of C, B, C, we're going to go C, B, A. Okay, let's do it again. So we're going down to the A the second time. One, two. So that's your second part. Let's do all of the second parts. So we have C, B, C at the ending and then C, B, A. Are you ready? Second part. One, two. To the D. C, B, C. And again. To the D. And down to the A. Well done. So it's a, it's a very straightforward melody. Um, let's see if we can go for all of the melody. A triad. One, two. Down your six notes. Your thing again. On to your second part. You can pause, rewind, and rewatch if you need to. On with the left hand now for this part. We're going to actually learn um, three different versions. I think I said two different versions earlier, but it's three different versions of the left hand for it. Um, we have our first part, which is going to be the same twice through. Our second part, which is then going to change. Um, kind of both times, but it's got some similarities with it. So we're going to start off with an A fifth, a low A, and an A fifth. This is going to be for our first part. So we have our A fifth, put your A fifth right in the middle of the harp. If you see the middle C's in the middle there, put your fourth finger out to the low A, and then your A fifth again. Our A fifth is going to go with our E at the start and our E at the end. So it's going to sound like this low A with the A of the triad and our A fifth there, the last E. Let's try that after two. One, two. Go for it again. One, two. We're gonna have two D thirds, so a D third is a D in our F sharp, okay? It's gonna go with the first two notes of our six notes going down. Then when we hit their A's, we're going to have an E and a G. This will sound a little bit clashing, but it's meant to. Okay, so two D thirds. Then our with the A's. Let's try that. One, two. Okay, the second time you go around that bit where you're going down, we're going to change that E third to an A fifth instead. So it'll sound like this. first time, A fifth, the second time. Okay, let's try all of that A part. We'll see how we get on. One, two. Well done. 
let's look at the B part for the first time round the tune. So we're going to start, it's going to be based um, on 158s and octaves. We're going to have an F158, so F, C, F, so an F sharp minor. And then a split C octave. Okay, so up an F chord, then C octave. Then we're going to have a, up a D chord. And then we're going to have an E octave for the first time and an E fifth for the second time. We'll worry about that in a second. Let's work with our F chord. It's going to position itself, it's going to come with the first two notes and the C, so it'll sound like this. So together, together, nothing, together. Let's try that. One, two. With the second time round that pattern, our C octave is going to go with the last two notes, so with the E, C here. Let's try that one. So that's our second time around that little pattern. C octave with the E and the C. One, two. Nice. Let's put those together. F chord and C octave. One, two. This time we have our D version and we're going to put a D158. It's going to happen in the same place that our F chord did. So it'll be together, together. Nothing, D's match up. You ready? One, two. Good. Let's put those three little bits together. So F chord, C octave, D chord. One, two. D chord. Now you have your first ending, C, B, C. We're going to have an E octave with the last note. So that comes with a C, an E octave. Let's try that. One, two. Okay, so that's for our first ending. Let's add that on. So we're once round the B part, or the second part. One, two. D chord. E octave with the C. Nice. Next time when you do it, you've got, remember, down C, B, A. We're going to have an A fifth instead with the A. Okay, let's do the second time round then. One, two. D chord. And A fifth. Nice. Let's do all of that B part through twice. One, two. second part then we go back to the first part and we're going to use the same left hand so for just now let's try doing first part second part first part or a b a are you ready with your fifth one two first two patterns. It's going to go note to note for the first parts. So two C octaves, flat hands so that you can dab them with the first two notes. And that's with our bit where we're ending on the C. Are you ready? One, two. Next bit goes down to the D and we have C, B, C. We're just going to have two D octaves with the first two notes after two. One, two. On our repeat, we're going to have two F sharps there. 
for the first two notes. Are you ready? This is a C bit. One, two. And for the D pattern, when we go down C, B, A, we're going to have three octaves E, F, G, which is going to sound a little bit clashy, but do not worry. It's all meant to be. So it'll sound like this. E with the E, F sharp with the E, G with the C sharp there. You ready? After two. One, two. Nice, we had two C's, two D's, two F's, then E, F, G. Are you ready? One, two. We know so far, so we have our A part, B part, A part, B part. You ready? One, two. Excellent. Let's go for all of what we know so far. So starting with the A fifth after two. One, two. to do octaves you can in fact it's quite nice to do single notes the first time round and then octaves the first time so we're gonna have this we're gonna go down A G F E D then up again to the G so you're going down from A to D and turning and coming back up to the G let's try those patterns going down after two one two A G F E D E F G again, work it as octaves. Good. That's just simply going to go on the beat. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see if you can get it fitted in. So it's basically, actually, it's pretty much every second note apart from when we do our note that go down. So it'll be with the E, with the C. F with the C, E with the E, D with the F, E with the D, then F with the A, and G with the A. Yeah, <laughs> let's have a go. Let's do it twice through, single notes first time, lots of second time. After two. One, two. A, G, F. similar to the second part that we just did. We're going to have A octaves, we're going to be right up top. A octaves are the first two notes. Okay, let's have a go at that. One, two. So note to note with the first two notes. We have that shape pattern again, but we're going to move down immediately. We're going to have two Gs, so it comes, there's double notes more quicker in this part. Gs. We're going to go down to the F. So you have two E's, two G's, two F's. They come with the E and the F, with the E and the F, with the E and the F. Are you ready? One, two. Now, 
then guess what? We're gonna have two E's. That's gonna go over the first two notes of so the C, B, and then the C by itself. Let's add that in. You ready? Going down from the A. One, two. Excellent. Next bit, we're gonna have a D there, right beside where we are, and then the low D if you have it. D with our pattern going down to the C. Low D with the same bit. Two Ds here. Then E with the C and A with the A. Let's see if we can get all of that line. Are you ready? One, two. Low D. Two high Ds, not to note. So we're going A's, G's, F's, E's, then that bit that we just did. One, two. Good, let's try that third time round the tune. So we have the single notes going down for A part, then the octaves. Are you ready? One, two. versions with the left hand. We'll see how we get on. After two. One, two. 